All right, back out in the garage. I'm not gonna show myself. I kind of made a mess out of myself with uh, some grinding, but kind of show you what I did. I had the welder out again a couple days ago, and I wasn't happy with how this edge looked. It looked like you could see this sheet middle, like the top edge of it before. So I actually ran a couple of beads along the top of here. Again, keep in mind, not a professional welder, not a professional body man. Just doing kind of what I think is right or how I feel like I, I need to be doing it. Can still see some low spots in here, but I think some of that might end up with a, with body filler or uh, some something to kind of fill in the little voids and stuff and smooth that out. But I had run a whole bead along here on each side. And then I ran a couple of beads along the top. And I just took a grinder to it with a flat disc and tried to get in here. It was kind of a little bit worn on the disc so I could kind of get into that edge right there. Kind of smooth that out a little bit on both sides. And I started filling in some of the holes in the shock towers here. So I figured I'll uh, I've just fill them in with some weld and tried to knock the weld smooth. And then I'll try to find the low spots and maybe fill those in a little bit better and smooth them out some more. But I've been doing that on both sides. Thinking for the bigger holes, I'll get some sheet metal cut out and uh, fill the fill that in with a actual piece of sheet metal and fill those bigger holes in instead of trying to fill them in with uh, weld. Ended up getting one of these things just ordered off of Amazon, so it had like a straight piece, a piece with a just an angle bend in it and one that had a 90 degree bend in it so just a uh, the copper welding paddle and just held that behind there and worked pretty well for filling in some of these smaller holes in the shock towers doing a little more work on the mustang trying to remember where i left off and showed you guys the last time so i was out here smoothing out some welds now i'm starting to fill in welds in the shock towers here so i want to get those filled in a little better and level them off then I think I'm going to start working on plugging up these holes. Probably just cut up some sheet metal and plug those holes up. So that's what I'm going to work on for now. I'm not going to show you as I work and some boring stuff. But uh, yeah, a lot of these, some of these holes I was able just to weld in and then uh, just kind of grind the welds a little bit smooth. So I'm going to keep doing that, smooth those off. And uh, hopefully I'll have these things looking pretty decent. But that's my next steps. And I thought I'd probably maybe do a little bit more of a weld along the bottom edge here. And kind of smooth that off since that frame rail kind of has a, has a bow to it. And then it's a straight edge up here for the sheet middle. Scott Rod Fab panel that got welded in. So um, I'll plug away on that and uh, show you what progress I have. Well guys, I'm stopping here for the night. It's... I think it was up to 80 here in Minnesota today with a little bit high humidity and the garage doors have been shut pretty much most of the day. I never should have put a smoke detector straight above my workshop side of my garage. I keep a fan there to blow the welding fumes away otherwise it, uh, it's going off all the time. But I got everything in here, well, I got my holes plugged up, I just cut some sheet metal for this hole, this hole, and this hole. And then over here for this guy and this guy. Everything else was filled in a little bit before. I had some pits around here, so I just hit it quick with the welder on both sides. And then I actually did run a bead along the top of this plate, between the plate and the shock tower. So yeah, you'll have to excuse some crappy welds, but. I might uh, run another bead along there and then uh, uh, smooth that out. But I think my welding tank, my uh, argon and CO2 here is about out. So I'm going to have to run to the welding supply store and get that so I can uh, keep on welding. I think it's getting a little bit shoddy. My welds were kind of sputtering a little bit. so. I'm guessing that's Again, what was going on. Not a professional welder by any means, kind of learning a little bit. I had welded before when I was in 
like high school and college and maybe a little bit here and there in between but not a not a ton so kind of happy with how things are turning out here but I just thought I'd show that it's getting a little bit late and it's hot out here so I'm gonna call it a night come back out here another night and try to grind some welds smooth or add another bead along the shock towers there to kind of fill it in so I have some uh, some material to smooth out but that's it for now all right hey Barney so Biner, Barney and I are out doing an update on the Mustang so I'm trying to remember what I showed last but I've gotten back out here and made a mess on the floor but I've gotten a lot of the holes filled in in the shock towers and took the flap disc yeah it's laying over there by Barney the flap disc on the grinder and put some welds on there and ground them smooth and now I'm doing another set of welds just to kind of fill in kind of some low spots I'm doing that on both sides here my best so. shot here trying to make it look halfway decent like I said original intent was to try to make this kind of a half street car half race car but I think you might see that it's going to be kind of more so race car. So some of this stuff might be getting hacked up a little bit more again. We'll kind of see how it plays out, especially once I get a little bit further here. But I want to get these welds kind of ground smooth in the next few evenings. Not sure what I'm going to put on my YouTube here, but just thought I'd show where I'm at now. Kind of the mess I'm making and my amateur welding and body work here so being a little brave here showing my crappy welds i kind of just went and, oh there's barney went and just kind of filled things in the best i could and made as small of welds as i could to prevent a bunch of grinding <coughs> the need for so much grinding again I was out here about an hour and a half tonight, ground everything smooth to try to figure out where I got low spots and just kind of filled those back in. So that's where I'm at now. And I'll come back and show you when I have more progress. Did a whole bunch of grinding again, ground. Put in another like bead down here and welded or ground that smooth. Same along here. It looks like crap, well, to me, my opinion, but I figure with uh, some little bit of body filler and some primer, it'll fill in some of these rough edges along these welds here. Yeah, but I got a whole lot of grinding dust here. So I thought I'd just show the aftermath of that before I get things cleaned up. Barney and I are back out in the garage again. Yeah, freaking such a pest. Such a pesty puppy. He's a pain. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> back out in the garage. Got my mess cleaned up finally after nights of welding and grinding. So I'll just kind of go over what I have here. Um... I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but my real shoddy welding. Well, just tried to fill stuff in. I didn't want to add a bunch of sheet metal down here, so I just welded it in a little bit. You got a little bit of a bow to the frame rail here with the straight edge on the Scott Rod fab panel here. So I just tried to weld it, weld in and kind of grind it back out so it kind of has a smooth feel to it we'll see how it looks when i get it full of uh, some primer or body filler or something this one um, i kind of wish i wouldn't have done a whole bead down it but i got it kind of sanded smooth so i'll probably work on filling that in and i did end up welding all this in and smoothing it out with the grinder so i did that on both sides here so it'll be interesting to see how it looks once i have it all done up do some body work on it 
try to get things as smooth as I could up here. Yeah, there's some rough edges, but looks like I got a little bit of weld to knock down there yet. This side looks pretty decent. Um, but as far as this goes, like I said, I'm not a professional body man, not a professional welder by any stretch of the imagination. So pretty happy with how this is looking. Got the panels all welded in. I think it's about as good as I'm gonna do. So may it's time to do some body work and get some filler and primer on there and get that covered up so I don't have all that rusting out again. Pretty happy with how it's looking. Um, can kind of see the holes that I filled in there. Then I tried to grind them a little bit smooth on this side in case I have wiring or something running behind there in the future. So you can see it's coming along pretty well. I ground some of these welds. Maybe I should knock some of those down, but just kind of little beads that I had there. I tried to knock some down and smooth them out a little bit. Same goes on this side. Just tried to knock down some of the little tack welds that I have there. I think it's all pretty solid. Pretty happy with what I have.